Hello planty friend, thank you so much for joining me today. Please grab a drink with me because it is almost December, so that means it's time for November's best and worst. I have a ginger mint tea because it is Sunday morning. Although I wish I would have filmed a little earlier because it's about nine o'clock and a lot of cars are coming out now. It was much quiet earlier in the day. Okay, so I know I didn't do in October and I feel kind of bummed about that, but honestly, I was sick for like half of October and then I didn't feel like doing it because I wasn't feeling the best. I did put out a Halloween video, so while that's not technically an October best and worst, I, I'm counting it. I'm counting it, but I'm back on track. Here we go with November. Now, I thought I did great in October. Like, I, all my plants seemed to be thriving. However, in November, I noticed that I was either like, oh, you're doing so well. Let me not touch you. I don't want to mess you up. So I kind of didn't do anything with the plants. And now I had I had a couple casualties, a couple sads. So let's get started. Oh, I love tea so much. Okay. In my cactus mug. I have it in my cactus mug. Here we go. I can't remember. I think we start with the worst, if I recall correctly. But that's what we're going to do. So, my first worst. Oh, okay. I... I, on my paper, I laid it out differently than I usually do, so I just got myself all confused. The first worst of November is this. This <laughs> is, was a Hoya Multiflora. I just purchased this in my Etsy plant box battle. It's not even a month old. Um, yeah, I just forgot to water it. My bad. It's it's totally my fault. I completely forgot to water this one. I feel so bad because I was so pumped to have this one again. Um, I might take a little bit of time to recover because I just feel so guilty about this, but I think eventually I will have another Hoya Multiflora, just I don't think soon. I gotta take a little bit of time. I actually want to like do it a little different. I kind of want to run through like the worsts first. Because I just want to get them out of the way, honestly. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm feeling kind of bad about them, so I think I'm going to do that. This video, the worst are going to be first, and then we're going to finish off with all the best. I think that's what I want to do. Yes, so next worst is a Monstera, and it is this Monstera Subpanata, I believe is how you pronounce it. It's a really cool Monstera. I purchased this from Gabriella Plants, but I, I tried to put it in water, and it is just not rooting for me at all it did come with like it did come with a new growth point which you can no longer see because my cat ate it so uh, I, I there's just no hope for this plant it's not doing anything I feel so bad because I was excited about this monstera uh, uh, so yeah I don't know I might try a wet no I'm not going to I can't I can't with wet sticks because with props like I try to prop things like wet sticks if props are not in water for me, I forget about them because they're not in like my line of sight. At least with water props, they're on windowsills or something so I can see, I can see that the water level is low. I, for some reason, I just don't do well with other kinds of prop methods really. Okay, but sorry, Monstera Subpanata, sub, Subpanata. Yeah, I'm gonna, that's how I'm gonna choose to say it. I got this one uh, actually almost a year ago in November of 2021. No, it, that is a year because it's November of 2022. It's, I'm sorry, it's Sunday morning. I only woke up a little bit ago. Next worst, we have this mystery philodendron. I cannot remember what this one is, and I don't think I wrote it on the side. Well, if I did, uh, I can no longer read what I wrote. I mean, it has some awesome roots going on here. Well, it did. They're, they're pretty dry now. And there is some, like new growth but honestly I've had like an on and <laughs> love hate relationship I was gonna say on and off again relationship no a love hate relationship with this one which I guess is like on and off whatever uh I put it outside and it did well outside and then I bring it inside and then it just does not and I think it's just time to let it go so I like I am I don't want to be, I don't want to say like more lax about 
getting rid of plants because I do take it very seriously but I kind of I got a food cycler for my anniversary my husband got me a food cycler so basically it makes compost out of organic matter you could even put bones in there I think it's certain kind of bones but I'm a vegetarian so I don't I don't put bones in there because I don't use the bones so uh, you can't put bones but anyway it takes all of your food scraps and it makes it into compost which I think is really cool so for plants that have died or like cuttings that haven't made it I just put it in my food cycle and it makes compost so I just feel better I I should say because it's I feel a little bit more responsible because what I am throwing away I'm eventually going to put back in either mixing with my houseplant soil or probably most likely put out in my garden this next worst here was a Syngonium Botic. I got this from Gabriella Plants. It was actually one of the plants in my Gabriella Plants versus Plantarina box battle. Again, those box battles are all in good fun. I just like to see the way different companies package their shipping times, um, all that stuff. I think it's fun to compare. And then it's also like a good reference to if you ever want to send out plants to see how other companies, professional companies, um, package their plants so you can feel a little bit safer about sending plants to other people when you know how the professionals do it. But yes, all that to say, this was a Syngonium Botic from Gabriella Plants. So when did I get this one? I didn't say. Uh, I can't remember when I did that video, but again, t this was due to my a combination of underwatering and my cat eating it because again he just he he loves to nibble on the plants and usually it's not a problem but sometimes it it's a little detrimental to the plant if I'm honest but we love the kitty although I I don't know if you could hear if you heard that but Luna was not happy about something she did not sound happy but anyway another worst of November Syngonium Botic it has honestly was not a good month for my Gabriella plant plants Oh my gosh, I have to check on that. All right, got that taken care of. Let's move on. I was saying it was not a good month for my Gabriella Plants plants because this one is another Gabriella Plants plants and it was a Syngonium auratum, I believe is how you pronounce that. Jupy's little troublemaker. He was, and he was, he was antagonizing Luna and I made them separate and now he's over here trying to like, mix with my plants which I love him but not not right now Jupiter not right now back to the syngonium this was a syngonium auratum I did right away because I am better with syngoniums in water than I am in soil put it in water but it just did not want to do anything for me it actually rotted if you can see that that's rot so I might try to um chop off the rot and try again but it's just not doing very well for me, which is a bummer because I thought this syngonium was really cool and I was really hoping that I could keep it alive, but I'm not doing so well at that right now. Maybe I can fix it, maybe. Oof, sorry. Which one did I say I've had a year already? Because that's not right. The, I've had this one a year, which I didn't know. I said I had another one since November of 2021. And when I said that, I wasn't right. I didn't read my notes right. Sorry about that. Maybe it was the Monstera. The Monstera I've had since only July of 2022. I have not had that one a year. I don't know what I was talking about. And then, so that was the last one that I wrote down, but I do have two honorable mentions, and it's these cuttings. So these cuttings are from my Syngonium Yanocardi Road. It is the very dark form Syngonium that has um, the under leaves are a beautiful red burgundy color absolutely gorgeous I love that plant I cannot prop I cannot seem to prop Syngonium for the life of me I just like the Syngonium Botic fail Syngonium um auratum auratum fail these fail I don't know why I have such trouble with Syngonium but I do but also we're moving on to the best and I just want to prove that I do find success in Syngonium. Like my Syngonium Cardi Road over there, it's doing very well. But I've already featured that I think even the last couple months. So I chose another one. It has been featured twice before in my February and my June, but I you'll see why in a second. Hold on. 
This is my Syngonium Mojito. So I'm gonna try to get like a cool screenshot of the plants in that February and June video so you can see the difference in its growth. But this one is just growing like crazy. I actually just yesterday put it on this hoop trellis here because this new growth point that's over here was just kind of roaming out and I knew Jupy would one day find that a very enticing toy and I would have Syngonium and Lekka all over my couch which I would not be happy about. So I put it on this trellis to prevent that and it's it looks awesome. Like again I can't tell oh no you look at you can totally see that it doesn't even do it justice though how these leaves look they are just so beautiful I love this plant I got it at a a plant swap in Bolingbrook it's a store that has since closed down which is very sad because I did like it I cannot remember the name of it right now if I do I don't I, there's no point in writing it because they're closed unfortunately but I, I maybe will if I remember it but anyway it was just like a one or two leaf cutting when I got it and it has grown into this and it's it's just so impressive and I love it I don't know why I did that I poked myself in the eye one more leaf I'll show you one more I think this one comes across as more green than the others did but whatever okay so pretty that plant was also a little bit heavy too. All right, moving on to the next best. My next best of November is a philodendron. I'm gonna try to pronounce it right. No, I, I can never pronounce this one right, here you go. It's this kind of philodendron. I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyway, I purchased this plant in Seattle. My husband and I went to Seattle in September of 2021 for a wedding beautiful place expensive but would love to go again anyway I purchased this plant from a plant shop in Seattle which I don't remember the name of sorry and usually I so I don't usually go for upright philodendrons like this like it's just not really my style I prefer like a trailing philodendron really but this one the shape of the leaves just get me every time I just love this shape very similar to like a mo that syngonia mojito shape with like the little ears and then the, the nose i don't know how to describe it i'm sure other people will have more technical terms but and then it's just like shooting off new growth here which is very exciting it sits on my uh, new plant shelf that's over here and it just leaned towards the light and it's just been so happy so and then i got this one on a very fun trip with my husband so it's sentimental to me and it's doing great which is awesome yeah three more best and that next one is my thanksgiving cactus so i acquired this thanksgiving cactus as three cuttings from my grandmother she <laughs> stole cuttings from a chinese restaurant now i know prop lifting is bad you should not steal plants from anywhere even if they like are on the floor it is courteous to ask before you take however like who's gonna say no to an 80 year old woman like cutting off a little bit of Thanksgiving cactus I don't think anybody really would and they didn't say anything and my grandma does say that it's bad stolen plants thrive the best which is true in her case because if you could see her Thanksgiving cactus like it's massive and this one is now growing very beautifully i'm sorry to that chinese restaurant i we won't we don't condone stealing plants but my grandma gave me these cuttings anyway and it's doing great i love that it's budding right around thanksgiving it's a couple of days past now beautiful red and these this actually usually blooms for me till about christmas time it continuously blooms like it it has even uh, new buds yeah like those are those are like newer buds over here and stuff still oh and like oh these ones on the front very tiny very tiny over here so yeah I love this plant so much it's very another sentimental plant for me because it reminds me of my grandma because my grandma gave it to me 
two more to go. This one here, my next one, is my variegated uh, Crisula, Jade Crisula. I just totally blanked out for a second. I don't know what this was. So these are two different cuttings in here. This one, this one bottom here, hasn't really done much, but this one, this one on top, look how beautiful it is growing. And honestly, I love when they start to look like this, like little trees, the, their trunk here, the trunk is starting to get like really, really thick. Oh, and I love it. I love the way I love jades so much. They're one of my favorites. And I, it's, it's just so, it's so beautiful. Look at it in there. I love it so much. All right. I have the last best of November and that is my pothos i believe i believe this is a pothos 99 percent sure but i doubt myself a little bit a pothos baltic blue so i purchased this plant from plantarina my very first plant ever purchasing from them and i absolutely love it yes it was expensive i forgot how much it was if you're interested in seeing that that is my plantarina versus gabriella plants box battle video um i yes expensive but the shipping was free and this plant has done nothing but thrive for me it is absolutely gorgeous and I've, t I've taken cuttings from this already to to take two plant swaps and this is how it, it still looks and then also it's in my Bob's Burger plant which my husband bought for me um, last birthday or last Christmas I'm sorry babe I forgot but I remember that you bought it for me and I love it and I think it just goes so well like it's Bob, Bob look like he has crazy hair I love it so Yes, this is the last best of November, my Pothos Baltic Blue. Okay, thank you so much, as always, for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you next time. I hope you have a great day. Cheers. I almost spilled all over myself. Ooh, that would have been embarrassing.